Marmalade is ungentle of the mental man. I need an alarm that goes off if something vibrates for over two minutes. So I made this. All that it is, is a power supply, a really loud alarm, and a prototype PCB with an AD-XL335, 3-axis accelerometer, doing all the sensing, of which I am using only one axis, and uh, an Arduino doing all the rating and controlling all the peripherals. So this has been working for uh, five months, every day, seven days a week, 24 hours a day, working just awesome. So I felt like it deserved an upgrade to a real PCB, of which JLC PCB was kind enough to make 10 of them, regardless of me just needing two. And when the thing is populated, it looks like so, which I think is amazing. It gets fed 12 volts here, and we get a 12 volt rail to feed three peripherals, which are an on state LED, a vibrating state LED, and the big alarm. All actuated by three logic level MOSFETs, gated by pin D2, D3, and D4, all through resistors. A 7805 regulator feeding the Arduino and the ADXL. A tilt switch, which is one of these which have two metal spheres inside, so when it's tilted this way, the circuit is closed, and this way, the circuit is open. The x-axis connected to analog 5, and the other two axes are not used. Underneath, we have the x-axis track from the ADXL to the Arduino, and all the ground rails to the three MOSFETs, the Arduino, the ADXL, and the tilt switch to the Arduino reset pin. And now I need to find my old software, or maybe maybe make a new one to run it. This is the program running inside, and the reason for it being so long is the need to recalibrate the accelerometer every so often. And also, I'm keeping all the serial prints in place as insurance for a possible future debugging session. Otherwise, the program would be pretty much only this part here. Anyway, this is kind of boring, so I'll leave a link to a GitHub repository if any of you want to check out the, the code. I ended up hot gluing all the major parts to the box because, let's face it, hot glue is just awesome. Also dropped some on top of the cable joints to the PCB, and I know it doesn't look professional, but I'd rather have this being a robust device than a pretty one. And for that reason I made everything pretty much oversized. You can see the PCB tracks are quite wide, these MOSFETs are just ridiculous, this is louder than a baby at 3am, the power supply is at least 4 times bigger than it really needs to be, got a pretty nice train relief for the cable, which is a steam iron cable, quite capable of handling high temperatures, and also these high spiky legs, because the, the device will spend most of its life on a 50-ish degree surface, and this will allow obviously more airflow to keep the thing cool, and yeah, it works. Bye bye.